Good afternoon, I'm Chad from Summit Truck Group and today you're going to learn how to use NavCal to update Navistar engine ECMs. First and foremost, let's talk about safety. Remember to always park the truck on a flat level surface, set the parking brake, and block the wheels. I cannot, I cannot stress enough during this procedure how paramount battery voltage and good Wi-Fi are to this procedure. So please remember to always install a battery charger and set it to the proper style of battery and charging rate for your truck. So, to begin, just select the NavCal logo from your EasyTech and launch the program. Every time you launch the program, it will check for updates to make sure you have the most current calibrations available. Using your Navistar credentials, log in. Once you're logged in, the program should auto-select and auto-detect communications. If it does not select and detect the communications you need, go to Connection, select COM Link, and select your COM device. Today we will be using the Nexic Technologies USB Link 2 on 1939 protocol. When the unit begins to communicate, you will see on the left hand box all of the pertinent information needed. What we are worried about right now is the software identification number. This number is very important. Please write this number in your tech story in the comments section of your work order. In the box on the right, you will see your battery voltage, and that needs to be at 12.5 or above. You will see your existing ECM software and the new software that will be going into it. So please write the ex new version in your story as well. Once you have those items noted, click Update Calibration. You will get a warning that says that ABS, SART modules and GPS and body controllers and other items may interrupt the programming. Simply click OK. The next warning is what to do if SCR faults happen after this calibration. Click OK. Then just follow the prompts on the screen. You'll see the first prompt will instruct you to key the truck off. Once the ECM is powered down, the program will now prompt you to key on. At this point, the program will start to save all engine parameters and create a file to reinstall later. Once the parameter file has been saved, it will now start the flash memory overwrite. As you can see, it will want you to cycle the key again to close the ECM, and now we will cycle the key back on to reopen communications.
Once the flash memory has been rewritten, the ECM will reset and the parameters will begin to be restored into the system from the file saved earlier. Once the parameters have been rewritten and restored, the ECM will once again reset and you'll be instructed to cycle the key. Once the ECM has completely powered down to save the information, you'll be instructed to turn the key back on. Once the parameters have been rewritten, restored, and saved, you'll once again be prompted to cycle the key off. You'll then again be instructed to cycle the key on. Once the program verifies all the pertinent information and reloads, it will now go through and check every parameter that was saved and written for discrepancies. Once the parameters have been verified, you'll once again be instructed to cycle the key off. and on again. At this point, if everything went as it should, you will receive an update calibration operation completed sex successfully prompt. Click OK. Now you will notice that NavCal is fetching the current calibration and will let you know that the software is current. At this point, you would check the lower left box for any active fault codes. At this time, you would clear them and cycle the key to clear them. At this point, you can now exit NavCal software. I hope you found this video informative. Please check back occasionally for more tips, tricks, and how-tos with your Navistar product.